Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, and I wanted to give you a uh, quick missionary update this past week. And uh, this past week was, was one of the most exciting weeks and busiest weeks of our church's history. And so uh, just to give you kind of a rundown of the events, and then I'll give you the totals here in a second. On Friday, we had a soul winning event on uh, Chinese New Year, and uh, there's a lot of holidays here in the Philippines. And we are in the non-rainy and the, the non-rainy part of the year and the year where it's not quite as hot. So these first four or five months, we're trying to hit it hard with lots of soul winning marathons. And so we did an all-day soul winning marathon. We organized four different events, and uh, one of the, or two of them were within Metro Manila, one in Bulacan, and then one in Iloilo. And um, you know, when it comes to our church, you know, some people come from a long distance away. But here's the thing: on Sunday, there's very little traffic. So people might be able to come in an hour by driving. If they were to come during the week, it might take them four hours. And so we have people that come from long distances. So, you know, when it comes to holidays and events, we try to organize events in uh, specific areas with various group leaders because of the fact there, there's a group of people maybe that are there, but maybe it would take a long time for them to come in for a soul winning event near our church. So we had events in all those areas. In Iloilo, we didn't have any members from our church that are in that area, but I do know of a lot of like-minded people in Iloilo. Um, I, I see a big work coming in Iloilo in the next couple of years. There's a lot of uh, like-minded soul winners there. So we kind of organized that event and there was boots on the ground that, that kind of put things into place and, and they did a great job there. They had eight soul winners and 29 salvations. And overall, we had 31 soul winners and 150 salvations that took their day off from work to just go soul winning all day between our four marathons. So whenever you have a big event like that, 150 salvations, 31 soul winners, people taking their, their, their free time to just go soul winning all day long, you kind of wonder if there's going to be a lot of soul winning during the rest of the week because people are exhausted. And outside of those 150 salvations, we had 132 salvations in Manila just in our normal soul winning, which is right on line with how we've been the last, you know, uh, pretty much all of 2021 every week. So a total of 282 salvations for Manila. And then we had six salvations in Pampanga. And in Pampanga, we went door to door this past week. So the results were a little bit less. Next week, we're going to be going to a park for extended soul winning, two to five for our soul winning marathon. If you want to join us in Pampanga with a food fellowship afterwards. And so a total of 288 salvations between our ministries. That is definitely our record. Um, we, we are going to be having a lot of soul winning marathons on, on not this week where we just have the, the one soul winning marathon in Pampanga, but the week after that on February 25th, we're going to try to organize a lot of soul winning events again. So we hope to have big results. You know, I don't know if we're, we'll reach these totals or not. We obviously pick receptive areas for the soul winning marathons as people are taking time off to do extra soul winning. So big results, um, but it kind of blew away our expectations. But not only um, records for most salvations, but records for most soul winners. And even if we were to exclude the totals from Elo Elo, we still broke our record for most salvations and most soul winners in a week, both in Manila and overall. And, you know, including those totals, we easily smashed a record for most soul winners. So things are going great. We've just been slowly, steadily growing as a church over these last two years. It's a strong, healthy growth. So it's been great. And so if you're in one of those areas, if you're in Elo Elo or if you're in Bulacan, um, those are definitely areas, and obviously Manila or Pampanga, where our churches are. But if you're in Bulacan or if you're in Ilo Ilo, you know, I, I encourage you to get in touch with me. Obviously, we understand if you're in Bulacan and you're not able to, uh, you know, come to our church because it's too far. But, you know, there's a lot of good people there, and, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot of soul winning events there probably in the future. So get in touch with us, and, you know, maybe you can come to those events even if you cannot come to church. Or maybe you know people in those areas that might be interested, that are like-minded, then we, we'd love to have you get in touch with us and tell us about that. So it's a great week, but not only do we like to do a lot of soul winning around here, we also believe fellowship, you see in the book of Acts, is a large part of church growth. So on Saturday, we kind of had an Indian food fellowship after our uh, church services on Saturday before our soul winning time. So we had a great time there. And um, you know obviously, we're going to have a food fellowship next Saturday after our soul winning time. Then on Sunday in Manila, we had our first annual married couple sweetheart banquet. And so that was a great time. And um, my wife did an awesome job just organizing so much of the stuff with uh, the decorations and putting in so much time 
and it looked great. I mean, we were blown away by the decorations and the hard work of everybody getting everything together. And it made it a really exciting event. Um, if, you, if you're on our, our Facebook, um, you know, if you like that page, maybe you, you'll see some of the, the pictures are going to come up. Or maybe some of the people that are in our church, maybe you saw some of the pictures posted. The ladies did an awesome job decorating, and you know, also so many of the men helped out with this event. I just really appreciate everyone making it such a great event. And uh, we just had a great time. It was a great week, and uh, we were definitely exhausted after church on Sunday. I think everyone was exhausted from a busy week, but it was definitely a very uh, uh, a week with a lot of fun, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. So a great week at our church, a uh, great week at our churches, I should say. A uh, great week, and we're excited for the rest of February. We've got a lot of stuff going on. So just to quickly let you know, the, the sermons that were preached, uh, Brother Mateus, who's, um, he preached on Wednesday night. He preached things that are not seen, and, and he did a great job. And then on Sunday, I preached two sermons that were kind of geared towards the topic of love. And one was for people that are singles, that are not married, of basic tips from the Bible of, of getting married, and it wasn't really about how to find a spouse, but just being prepared for when that opportunity does arise for the right person. And then I also talked about um, just love in general when it comes to marriage, of how to have uh, proper love. And so just a great week and continue to pray for ministry. And um, one other thing, we are making some test runs to try to live stream our services to both YouTube and Facebook. We've been making small changes for several months and there have been some a few technical difficulties. And we kind of did a test run on one of our church members' uh, YouTube and, and Facebook and everything. And the sound came in very good. And uh, we're, we're going to try to make a test run this, this Sunday. We're going to try to go live stream to our YouTube. We're going to see how it works. So bear with us, but we're trying to make the quality better because we know a lot of people uh, like to tune into to the live stream and uh, hear the sermons. And you know, sometimes our sound quality isn't the greatest, but we're trying to make it better here. And we're hoping this Sunday we'll be able to have it uh, the video and the audio will come out really clear. And, you know, there's always technical difficulties with things like this, but we hope we'll have it ready for uh, this Sunday. So anyways, check it out. You can go to our YouTube or our Facebook and uh, just continue to pray for our ministry. Thank you and God bless.